T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 3, 2, 1, 0, and lift off of Space Shuttle Atlantis on a mission to build, resupply, and to do research. It is amazing to know and see what we have achieved in the past 7,500 years of human evolution. Bustling cities, technology far beyond what was ever conceived, and the ability to understand the fundamentals of nature, space, and time. The universe, with its endless expanse and profound mysteries, has captivated humanity since we first looked up at the night sky. Studying the universe is not merely an academic pursuit, it's a fundamental quest to understand our origins, our place within the cosmos, and the laws that govern everything from the smallest particles to the largest galaxies. The Sea Star has an immense catalog of deep sky objects you can choose from. Time and a clear patch of sky are the only variables you need to think of in reality. Every astrophotography you will ever take is in essence yourself traveling back in time, sometimes further away than the entire modern human civilization. One of my favorite deep sky objects is a patch in the Milky Way, also known as the Heart Nebula. Using the search function on the Sea Star app, you can instantly find the nebula in the catalog. The Heart Nebula, officially cataloged as IC1805, is a captivating celestial object located approximately 7,500 light years away from Earth in the constellation Cassiopeia. This emission nebula, which spans about 300 light years across, owes its nickname to its heart-like shape. It is a stellar nursery where new stars are born from vast clouds of gas and dust. Illuminated by the ultraviolet radiation from the massive open cluster Melot 15 and its central O-type stars, these stars ionize the surrounding hydrogen gas, causing it to glow with a vibrant red hue creating a visually striking expanse that looks like a cosmic heart. The intricate network of dark dust lanes adds to the nebula's mystical appearance, making it a popular subject for astrophotography and a fascinating study for astronomers interested in star formation processes. Using the mosaic function of the Sea Star S50, you can capture most of the nebula in one go. I usually advise anyone trying this target to get at least two and a half hours of exposure as the dust clouds are very complex. You also have to use the built-in filter for the full effect. For my session, I aimed for a moonless and cold evening. Dew heater on, filter on, and as much darkness as possible in my backyard, avoiding street lamps and other sources of stray light as it can instantly ruin your stargazing session. Also, when selecting the mosaic function, I found that the efficiency of the telescope drops when you tilt the frame, so try to avoid that as much as possible, as dropped frames will become a problem. I produce all my images using a combination of Cyril, PixInsight and Lightroom. I'm planning to create a tutorial for you to see my workflow, but until that is done, here is my take on this breathtaking patch of our Milky Way. If you enjoyed this video, consider liking and subscribing to my channel as I want to share more of the deep sky objects with all of you and it means a lot seeing your support for this type of content. Thank you.